Have you ever wondered what the future of the internet might look like in 10 to 15 years? Well, we're going to cover that today in this video and why we think Luxo will be a big part of it. Hey guys, welcome back to Anti-Hedge, where we cover all things crypto. If you like this crypto content, you should definitely hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with all our information as it's coming out. But one thing I do gotta say is this is not financial advice and we don't accept liabilities for the loss that you might incur. It's strictly here for news and research purposes. So with that in mind, let's move forward. Now the internet is a complicated thing to nail down considering that it's always evolving and changing with the technology. But in this video, we'll be explaining why we think Luxo will be a big part of shaping the ecosystem as well as developing the new internet. Now, I personally speculate that we'll be seeing two internets in the future, one being Web3 based and one that we currently use that is a Web2 based system. And in this ecosystem, I wouldn't be surprised to see Luxo as the driving coin or force behind setting up this new infrastructure. Now, before we dive headfirst into why we think this, I would just like to briefly go over some of the fundamentals of Luxo and why we still believe in it. And, you know, just give a gentle reminder as to why we think it's so powerful in the future. So we'll start just by briefly explaining too that if you ever want to reach any of this information, you should go to the luxoverse.io. From here, it's a handy dandy little community run page that tells you pretty much everything that has to do with Luxo. And it's all people like me who are constantly researching Luxo and providing information on it. So if you really want to know anything about Luxo, you should start on this page if you haven't already found it. So that's a beautiful piece of alpha that I'm dropping to you guys. And if my community members are watching, we really appreciate the work that you've put into this site. Fundamentals wise, I'm not going to go super deep into it, but I wanted to basically show you this flow chart that was created by LuxoCat. And this flow chart basically explains all the potential partnerships, drops, dematerialized, every connection that has been made up to this point is on this. And that's why I believe that everyone should go over this flow chart at least once if they really want to get an understanding of some of the partnerships. And as you can see here briefly, just on the advisory board, we have people like Daniel Heath and Dr. Bernd Hopcorn from Chanel and Daniel Heath from Nike and a few other really big names that are involved with this that will tie together how valuable this could potentially be. Like High Snobbity, Ariani, even potential links to Facebook and Instagram is all here. And as you could see, there was a lot of work put into it. And that's why I believe that everyone should go over this if they're serious about Luxo Alpha. Once again, I'm going to give a shout out to Luxo Cat for putting in all that hard work as well as the other community members. Fundamentally, you could see we got some big people on the advisory board. We have some big names in terms of fashion branding. We got a lot of connections and influencers who have basically joined via drops, dematerialized through one connection or another. They're associated to Luxo and that's more than enough reason to be bullish considering that there hasn't been a lot of marketing involved and most of these things are NDAs, non-disclosure agreements. So now we've covered the basic fundamentals which have never changed in Luxo and which is why we still love this project. Now I'm going to get into some real world examples that it's going to be valuable for and that we're definitely going to need to explore as Luxo community members and understand if we really want to be bullish on this project without having any doubts and to have extreme confidence in the project. The first one being is anti-fraud technology. The fact that they plan to involve blockchain technology to create an anti-fraud environment for luxury goods is definitely a big market that isn't being tapped properly. And the fact that Luxo is going to tap this as well as doing other things, it's a no brainer that this project has a lot of future to be a potential top 10 project in the future. There's clearly a need for a digital identity or digital passport, whatever you want to call it, because this kind of experience to be able to verify real people is only going to provide a much cleaner, smoother internet free from the plagues of our current web two infrastructure. Now I'm going to go deeper into why this universal profile and this passport are going to be so important in the future. Now you may be asking yourself, why do we need a digital passport? Why do we need this universal profile, so to speak? 
and I'm about to get into that now. Web2 is currently plagued with a serious issue, and that issue is bots and scams. The problem with Web2 is that anyone could just make an email and go online and spam bots and create more and more fake accounts. And the issue with having all these fake accounts in the system is that it basically dilutes what the internet is or what it can be because there's too many fake people putting fake opinions or fake things to basically influence others. And that's not healthy. It's not healthy for society. It's not healthy for the internet. And we don't need that. There's a poll recently that they were saying that Twitter was only 5% bots. I think the actual number it was stated was actually closer to 50%. I wouldn't be surprised about that because I've been on Twitter and a lot of crypto people have been on Twitter and they've noticed that the amount of bots that are spamming Twitter at this point are at another level. And this is one of the issues with Web2. The fact that there's no screening or guard, it allows for a lot of bots to really wreak havoc on everything that it touches. Scams, spam, just cancerous stuff for society is being spread through these bots. And that's why the digital passport is actually gonna be something very important. And now I'm gonna get into the next part of this theory that's extremely important to understand why I believe there will, two, there will be two internets. The current internet, Web2, I believe what's gonna happen is it's gonna be running parallel to a Web3 or blockchain-based internet. And what's gonna happen is the real people are gonna leave from Web2, convert to Web3 via this digital identity, and what'll happen is a Web2 environment will always remain, but it'll be mostly bots, scams, spamming. It won't be the real internet. It's gonna basically fall off over the course of the next 10 to 15 years because it'll become unusable. It won't be maintained the same way. It won't have real people. It won't have the same opportunities as the people who transitioned to Web3 early and established their identity, their reputation, and their trust as being not only real, but as being themselves. And that's a large part of what the Web3 development is gonna be. It's gonna be based off of being the real you, freely, and to be able to interact with everyone individually without the need for a third party. Almost like as if Facebook and Instagram and all these things, everyone was an individual version. And that's what I'm speculating is going to be the future of the internet. So just to say that one more time quickly, recapped, there will be two internets, one that gets left behind, plagued by bots, and Web3, which will be the future of the internet. So that's a lot to take in, to think that Luxo could be the cure for the disease that's currently destroying the internet. Now that we've hit this point and you stayed till this point of the video, I'd just like to give you my strategy as to how I'm approaching this Luxo dip, as well as my set target ranges for the next bull run. To start, now that Luxo is under $5, this is a great entry point to start DCA. Anything under $5 is a solid buy. Me personally, I'm buying at this price, I'm buying at two and I'm buying at one. If it hits $1, I'm gonna be buying as much as I can. And then waiting at least till 2023, 2024, when things should pop off. Now, one of the key things that I wanted to mention is when I'm setting my price targets, I'm setting them based off of Ethereum, the chart on Ethereum, the five-year chart, and why I think Luxo could potentially follow the same wavelength as Ethereum did when it took off in the last five years. And if it does that, you want to have your targets set as to how much you plan to buy from before when you DCA, as well as how much you plan to sell at certain price points. So I'm going to get into the price points that I would consider selling. The first one is the $50 mark. The reason being is it's rel relatively close to the all-time high in the previous cycle, and that's an easy 10 to 15x minimum, maybe even 40x if it hits a dollar. So that's a great point to take some profits, and it's relatively close to the all-time high, which will likely be hit again. My second price point is at 100. That's because it'll be a new all-time high, it'll be a psychological mark of three digits, and from there, it leaves room for a potentially similar run to Ethereum or Binance chain coin when it went from $20 all the way to 800. So that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to base it off of similar Ethereum based products, but I'm also considering 
how much to sell at each point. So now I've told you 50 and hundred dollars. The next price target is 500. The reason 500 is because it's halfway to a thousand and a thousand is where I'm going to be basically selling a good portion of the bag. That's what I believe will be closer to the top in the next cycle. So 500 and then a thousand and then at a thousand, I'm going to sell a good enough chunk where I'm comfortable. And then the rest of my Luxo, whatever I have available will be left to stake and receive dividends off the network. And at that point, if Luxo actually hits a thousand or more and it keeps on running, I've taken profits and I'm comfortably safe. So that way, even if it dumps, I'm not affected by it. And most traders would probably do the same as I did, set their targets. And then from there, once I'm staking, I'll be receiving free Luxo just by staking. And if I ever need to sell more, I'm already at the top. So I could sell them one, two at a time and not have to worry about selling too much of my bag or too little of my bag. And that's really how you should approach Luxo. It's a strategy that's safe, has low risk. And if it hits, you may actually set yourself up for a nice vacation, maybe even a early retirement if you play your cards right. Keep in mind though, this is not financial advice and I wanted to repeat that one more time if you made it to this point of the video. So if you've reached the end of this video, we really appreciate your viewership. If you get an opportunity to like, comment and subscribe, it would really help us grow our channel and allow us to do this full time so that we could provide you up to date crypto information without any halts in our production. And one last thing that I would like to leave on is Luxo has great fundamentals. Don't let a little bit of price shock scare you out of what the fundamentals are because at the end of the day, they didn't change. It's still the same great project that it was before. The only difference is all markets are tanking and we just happen to have the opportunity to potentially buy in while it's cheap. Take care.